video, I will make a DIY project of one product called Noki. Now, this is not exact same replica of the product, of course, but I tried to replicate some important features of it and made my own version of Noki. So let's quickly get started. Now, for those who don't know what's this Noki all about, check out my Facebook page on which I have shared its intro video. The link is in the description. Let's see the overview of this project. This project includes a Wi-Fi board and a sensor which senses the knock. So as soon as some fixed knock pattern is sensed by the sensor, the board does some pre-programmed actions. Now, as it is an IoT project, the actions can be controlling the appliances, playing music on the phone, etc. So for making this project, you will need an ESP8266 development board and a 3-axis accelerometer. And yeah, one bike color LED for indication. Now, the connection of all these components is something like this. Now I designed my own PCB for this project on easyadiate.com and gave its order to JLC PCB. Ordering PCBs online from JLC PCB is so simple that you can even order it by relaxing in a garden. Just upload its Gerber file and select the payment method. You will be receiving this amazing PCBs at a very low price of $2 for 10 PCBs. So try out JLC PCB once to make your project look neat and more professional. Time for shouldering the components. I use this female bulk strip so that I can reuse my Node MCU board as well as accelerometer. I shouldered the buck strip on the PCB and placed the components above it. After that, it looks something like this. Now, for LED, I used this multi-core wires and shouldered on the PCB first. I will shoulder the LED after making its packaging. Now, for the outer package, I used this MDF sheets and got it laser cut according to the dimension of my project. I glued the PCB at the base of this outer package. After that, one by one, I glued all the other sides with the base. So now I only left with the top of the box. Now at the top, I inserted this LED from the back side and glued it. And then I shouldered all the three legs with the multi-core wires and then glued the connections also to make it more stiff. In the end, I attached the top to this base and glued it. And our final project looks something like this. Neat and handy. Good. Now let's jump to the coding. Now this is the code for DIY Noki. I took the help from the code which was written by this guy. In this code, you first of all need to add the webhooks key. Webhooks is a service used in IFTTT. Now those who don't know what is IFTTT and how to make an account in this, kindly watch out my this video. In Webhooks, we get a link to request, then we can assign any action whenever that link is requested from any device. Now in that link, we need to give two variables, event name and a particular unique key. Key is fixed and unique for every user while the event name we can choose on our own. To get your own key, go to this link. Here is the key for your webhook service. Make sure you are logged into your IFTTT account. Copy this key and paste it inside the code. Now in this setup, we have a logic for calibration of surface in which first of all, red LED turns on then the sensor's reading will be calibrated according to the surface and then the green LED will turn on which indicates that the surface is successfully calibrated. Let's see this particular code in action. During the calibration, make sure you don't shake the device otherwise the project won't work. Just put it on a plain surface and don't knock until the green LED turns off. Let's get back in the code. Now here, you need to give your Wi-Fi credentials. I have used this Wi-Fi multi so you can even add multiple SSID name and passwords. 
Moving ahead, here is some code for recording, storing and comparing the knock patterns. If the pattern doesn't match with our stored patterns, then the red LED will blink thrice something like this. And if the pattern matches, these functions will be called according to the particular pattern matched. In this function, we need to provide one string, for example, knock1, knock2, etc. Now what is it? Let's jump to IFTTT for that. On your smartphone, install this IFTTT app and open it. If you're using it for the first time, make sure you make an account here. After that, go to the last option, My Applets, and click on this plus sign. Now click on this, Search for the service webhooks as we need to request one link from our ESP board. Click on receive a web request. Now here we need to provide one unique event name. Let's say for example, knock one. Click on create trigger. Now click on that. Here you can choose any services as per your actions. I will select Adafruit. Now here click on send data to Adafruit IO. Here I will select relay one as a feed and data to be saved is one. Now click on create action. Now wait, if you don't know what is this Adafruit service is all about and how to make an account in the Adafruit IO, kindly watch out my this video in which I have really gone into detail about IFTTT and Adafruit IO. Okay, coming back to the tutorial, we successfully created our own applet which says if event knock one occurs, then send data to relay one. This is how you can create multiple applets for different different actions. Let's jump to our code. So here knock one reveals the event name. If you are using any other event name on the webhook service, kindly make changes in the code also. So this is how I created many applets and gave their event name as knock2, knock3, etc. Now let's see what happens when this function is called. So first of all, the green LED will turn on and after that, this particular link will be requested which will have a unique event name and a unique webhooks key. After doing the task, if the link is successfully triggered, the green LED will turn off and if the link is not successfully requested, then the red LED will turn on for 2 seconds. So as soon as this link is successfully requested, a particular task will be performed. In this code, I have made two actions, one for turning on the light and other for playing music on my phone. So first, let's just upload it. But hey, before that, I will let you know what are the pre-programmed patterns which I have made. So here are the five patterns which I have saved in the code. I have mentioned the dots as to imagine the pattern. Let me show you by playing all the patterns. Be aware of the speed also. If we perform the same knock pattern fast, then also it won't recognize it. Now let's just upload the code and see everything in action.
it about this project i hope you like this project and if yes don't forget to give a like to this video subscribe my channel if you want to learn more projects about iot automation and electronics so wait for my next project until then explore learn share with me techie sms